making that issue. I, I would be remiss if I did not ask a presidential candidate. Um, since we say in our Pledge of Allegiance, uh, with liberty and justice for all, right. why the heck are most of the Republican presidential candidates, including yourself, I think, opposed to basic marriage equality for people who happen to be gay and lesbian? For gay marriage? Uh, I, I give you two viewpoints. I share them both. One is, as an old Methodist boy, if given the chance to vote, I would vote no. I thought marriage was a church function. It's been gobbled up by the state, and it's between a man and a woman. That's my personal feeling. But I have an equally strong feeling that under our Constitution, each state has the right to make that decision. So any state that makes it, I will honor it, would not have a national law that would be opposed to their stand, no matter what their stand was. That is a clearly state issue. So you support it here in New Hampshire? I do. I, I support the right for New Hampshire to make that decision. Although I want to be fully disclosing to you and say if I were here when the vote went, I would vote no, man and woman. I would even go further and say we might consider what role the state has in marriage. Uh, it's been debated many times in my legislature in Louisiana. It's a state dominated by the Catholic Church and there were certain rules and regulations that the state followed. But in my state, there's a civil union that's handled by state affairs and state laws, and then there's a church marriage that is outside of the state law. Well, that's exactly what we have in New Hampshire. Yeah. We have civil marriage and we have religious marriage. Um, so you would support the current law and oppose repeal? Uh, well, if I were in New Hampshire or as President of the United States, I'm running for president. If I were running for governor, I would say I would be for repeal. But if running for president, I would say it's none of my damn business. Thank you. Yes.